You are watching Jimadism and we are back into From the Depth and I just realized that uh, I've been proclaiming the smartness of using Staggered Era now for a while because everyone is like using it and it seems to be pretty good. And it is okay in certain, uh, in certain circumstances. For example, here we can fire a boom armor piercing heat shell. And it stops the armor piercing heat shell just like that and it doesn't um, Well, it it yeah, it, it stops it. It works fine I have this layer on wood on top to make sure that the explosions uh, from pre-detonating shells and stuff like that doesn't spread and I realized this uh, because of a redditor comment so pentalope in little red red discussion um, basically said that I got to some false conclusions uh, when I did the uh, best shell to counter era um, because I found that the heat shell could be the best shell to counter era one of the best uh, heat frag or just pure kinetic but uh, there is a better way to set up era actually, actually much better than staggered era because as we can see here it perfectly stops this it absolutely does uh, but if we go inside of here and change this to a normal heat shell uh, then we can get the same effect that we got before so we go here and it fires and boom we can see it penetrated it destroyed these blocks not acceptable just went through there bang spread out damage internal component ignore our era layer that's why we can use regular heat uh, against people who are using staggered era which is nice to know because a lot of people is using staggered era but it's not it's not the best way to do this thing you know um and i'm just gonna remove this layer here so i'm just gonna spam ba -dum -ba -bum -bum. And show you what we can do so inside of here we have this little layer so we can fill it up with uh, era you can see here and the air gap is like this way and when we fire we get the same effect as when we fired the um, well when we fired the shell against our staggered uh, era it deleted a few of the blocks but like not much however there is a thing we can do if we put them with a flat side to the armor, just repair all, look what happens. Look what happens now. Slow motion. Did, did we do slow motion? Yeah, we did. Bam! That's what we're talking about. You can see, it deleted just one block. That's all. If we had staggered era, best case scenario, it could delete like... Uh, um, four blocks or something like that but it deletes it straight up on the armor just like that because the explosion so uh, when we have like a flat era block uh, of course we use the half ones because they're cheaper but the full ones works too uh, if we go like this when the shell is coming in there but -dum -bum -bum -bum, and it's going here and it wants to delete it wants to spread out the heat but because it's flat against this armor here this era explodes and deletes the shells before these balls are ready to spread out so against pure heat we can just do like that isn't that pretty amazing uh so when the shell comes in as pentalope said on reddit like when we just just wrote a comment there and uh, when the heat like ray tracing come in there and just checks the other side it sees there it, th that there is an era block and it just gets immediately destroyed so if we fire it again boom if we fire again of course it would spread out now but that was the damage it would have done in the first shot boom you can see boom just destroyed so easy and uh, because this block is flat against that surface flat against the armor the explosion um, area is kind of away from like the blocks around it doesn't get exploded because this gets exploded in that area and there is like no no era blocks 
uh, side to side here, so they won't explode. But like, sure, if we have like era here and here and here, you can see the blast damage pops one of them still because they're kind of adjacent to that block, but not the ones around it. So that's that's like pretty weird. I think I think you get my point there. And you might wonder, oh well, uh, the armor piercing heat, uh, the staggered era worked absolutely fine. Won't the armor piercing heat destroy this setup? Let us check, let us check, let us, let us, salad check. Armor piercing, uh, then we'll go solid warhead body, secondary shaped charge, let's go like that. Now we have a good armor piercing thing, like that, fire it, boom! Just like that, it, did, it, it got deleted the same way. Of course the armor piercing destroys all the blocks in front of it, because that's what armor piercing do. But when it wants to deliver its payload, the era sees like, oh, it looks like you are supposed to delete some payload, uh, put some payload here, and it just deletes it straight off. So of course next shot goes straight through, but uh, that's how it is. But the first shot, just like that, boom, stopped. Isn't that pretty amazing? Uh, and if we just try to compare a little bit with some of my earlier like tests, one thing I will tell you though uh, is that let's see here, um, as Pentelope also wrote, this thing is of course susceptible against uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. what is it called like hollow point shells like thump damage. Uh, but that's really not something that era saves you against anyways, but when we have thick armor in front of it like that There is absolutely fine, and it's like it's not a big issue All right, so if we set up the kind of shell we had a little bit before if we go with like armor piercing and solid warhead and we go with like flak uh, Just to show you if we can delete more with flak. Let's do that Fire. Boom. Damn! The flak clears much more of this then. Okay, so armor piercing flak is definitely a way to get to tear this apart. You know what? I think we'll have to do a backwards staggered era in order to deal with this. Yeah, that really seems to be like the thing. Against the main armor we shall have backwards staggered era. So the flat side against the, f the outer side of the armor. Uh, and let's just see, it blows up there, okay. So that means that maybe if we could remove some blocks there and put wood instead. Like that. Let's see, let's see if like this works. So we can have just have some filler there, like wood. And if we fire now, yeah, you can see there. Even the flak thing, we contained its damage, it only took out four. Uh, yeah, that works. So basically, what you need to do is to have backers, backwards staggered ERA armor. Um, or just back, just, you know, Flat side against the outer hole of the armor with ERA uh, does work fine in most situations because I don't think a lot of people is going to have um, armor piercing flag, you know. There is of course armor piercing frag, uh, we need to test this out. Alright. Ah, amazing, it took that out too, okay great, it works really good against that too. Couldn't spread it there. Um, and even if we use like normal frag. Oops. Frag. There you go. Like that. We can have a frag head. And a lower degree. Like one degree or something like that. Oh, that didn't get through. Next shot then. That didn't feel very... Okay. Did it take that out? No, it just... That's just weird. It's just uh, a little bit too weak. 
maybe a little bit armor piercing as well just to get through that uh, front armor there and do like that boom now it blows it up and if we have backward staggered era this is the this is the way to go yeah so staggered era isn't enough we need backwards staggered era in order to defeat against everything so uh, normal staggered era as a middle layer is kind of not very good at all um, using era is best use uh, outside important areas with like the era flat against the outer side of the armor um, so yeah that's that's the verdict here well thanks a lot uh, pendulope from reddit for pointing this uh, out i didn't understand the comment first but i'm glad i did some testing because the normal staggered era is not really not really thing not really anything we'd like to like use it works in like some scenarios but i mean darn it it's it's not as efficient as it should be. So what can we say? Um, now we know we need to put the era flat against the outer hull of the armor. In that order, we can stop regular heat shells from doing like any damage. Really useful tip. Uh, and uh, well, I hope it helps you build better ships. This is your host, Jim Odesim, and we're signing out. And check the tutorials if you need. Uh, some detailed help. The uh, instant tutorials are very efficient, just so you know. In any case, Jim Rissom signing out for reals. Mm -hmm.